All right, let's do this. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. And let's do something right here. Let's do a painting. So I found painting to be something very interesting over my life. Uh, I found in painting that if you think about what you're going to paint, um, you may overstress. And I found also that if you think about the colors that you're going to use, that may also happen. Now, I don't know what it is for other people, right? I don't know how painting appears for other people, but that's how it is for me. So, I try not to think about so much what I'm going to do, since that is a factor in my painting. It is a, uh, how can I say this, almost a headache, <laughs> almost a headache. If I think about what I'm going to, what, what color I'm going to use, it almost becomes, it defeats the purpose of the painting. It defeats the purpose. I don't know why I didn't make these rules. They just, I just play by them. Maybe it's because of the way I paint, maybe because of of the way I chose to do things, I have no idea. Um, if I think about, for example, I never had an idea that there was going to be a, a, a another figure in this painting. And, but I used to be a musician and everything happened for me um, based on, on feeling, a lot of feeling. How's it going, Stemonix? How's it going, Impressionist? And everything happened kind of like as a feeling. So I I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you guys, look, I don't I don't think about colors cuz I do. But um I try not to. For example, I know that there's blue here in the water, right? I know I'm making a uh, some sort of water scene here. I don't know if that's going to change or not. Like I know that, right? But I also know that if I stick with that, see I moved away from that blue, if I stick with that, I lose out on, on other possibilities. So I stick with nothing. And unlike in life, how people say jack of all trades, in painting I found it to be actually the way to do it, at least in my painting, where I remove myself away from 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 ideas of. I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's the same thing in, in other in other aspects of life. When when I was when I was. Uh, I remember. I remember when I came to this country. My my mother used to used to ask me, she used to do, uh, like, she was, she was always hustling, right? She was always trying to sell stuff to the neighbors <laughs> to, 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 to survive, no? Uh, and at some point she asked me, she, she was making tamales for the family, right? And she's like, dude, you got to go sell these tamales because, because I made too many and no one's going to eat them and we can make a buck, right? And I was used to that kind of stuff because my mom raised me that way. So I, I never had a, a, a really a problem with uh, going door to door as a, I don't know, 12 year old, 11, 12 year old trying to sell tamales. But uh, for those of you who don't know, tamales are like like a Mexican staple for, for, for uh, um, like Christmas and stuff like that. They're like a staple food. 
Uh, so, so I go, right? And I'm like, but the first thing I'm asking, this is why I came up with this story right now. <laughs> uh, the, the, the first thing I start asking is, mom. Yeah, mom was very, very moms are always smart. My, I, I start asking my mom, mom, which houses do I go to? And, and, and I remember her saying, oh, you're thinking it wrong. Just go to any homes, any of the houses, just pick a street. I'm like, which street? Any street, you know? Start with this one where we lived, right? I was like, all right. And then, and then, uh, you know, I would go and knock some doors and, you know, some people bought, some people didn't, some people weren't there. So next time, right, when she did that again, she'd be like, go, go, sell, go sell these tamales, right? And I would be like, mom, I already went on this street. And she's like, I know, but half of the people were not even there. So go do it again, you know? So what I'm trying to say is, is there was no, not because she was not smart, but because she was smart. She, she was already, she, she's always been in, and she, she was always involved in some sort of commerce, right? Her father was a rancher in Mexico. She understood, she understood the power of numbers. She understood that you can't overanalyze anything because you stagnate. And she taught me that early on. I somewhere along the way started listening to people outside uh, the thought thought differently, and I started going awry. Not, you know, kind of like stop thinking about what I had already learned at home from 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 my mom having me sell door to door, and then me going and getting jobs, you know, selling door to door in different ways. Uh, it's the same thing with painting. If you start picking the color, if you start picking the subject, if you're like, man, okay, what am I going to paint next? A woman with a child in a seascape and okay, okay, that's what I'm going to do. It, what happens is that you'll get away with that. It's cool. But the next one, you're going to stagnate because you're going to start thinking about, well, I already did that. It's not, I don't want to repeat it. And on and on and on and on. And, and see, if you just do it, the answer will come out. Like, like the painting, the, your, your effort. Hola desde Colombia, que, que, que bueno, que tal Espinosa 212. The, the, the painting, your effort, your hands. They already have the answer. They, they, they don't really need you. The, the only thing that is required from you is your commitment. It is the only thing. It's, I find it such a blessing. I feel, like, I feel like God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, it's so smart. You know, that all you really need is your commitment. You don't need to know anything. You will learn along the way. I'm not saying that you're not going to learn. You will learn, but you don't need it to start out with. You know, all you really need is your commitment. It, you know, it's it's it really is a blessing. It really is a blessing. Fala português, sou sou brasileira. Yo Mexicano, bam, bam. Uh, no, I don't speak Portuguese. I would love to speak Portuguese. Uh, so, it's really all you need. You know, it, it comes. It comes with it. It it already comes with it. You know, you you you. It's 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 like it's like hitting in there somewhere. And if you start thinking about what you're going to do and and on and on. You are going to miss out, guys. You you are. You're going to miss out. You're going to miss out. I know because that's that that happens to me. It's happened to me. And you'll miss out on the opportunities of, of exploring new themes, uh, learning new things in your artwork, uh, becoming more prolific. That's, that's tremendous stuff if you want to become a prolific painter. You have to commit first.
It's always it's always the commitment. It's just that we're 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 told different, right? We're told different. Many many artists out there are like are like, well, first you have to think about the subject, and then this, and then analyze the colors, and then you know, and I don't know. See, I feel like a I feel like a pianist, a jazz musician. I heard this. I didn't come up with this. I heard it from, uh, uh, yeah, they're they're oils. I heard it from Peter Max. Peter Max said. It's almost like a jazz musician. He's a jazz pianist where he starts playing with with the piano all over. He starts playing with the notes, and then and then something gets repeated and something gets picked up, and then you, you know, you start doing the same thing. It's 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 the same thing with painting. If you're like, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing something high over here, and I'm gonna figure something out. You're forcing it. You're forcing it. And I'm I'm not saying that something nice won't come out of it. It will, but you won't be. Flow. You won't be at flow. You won't. Fe you won't be like full, full throttle. Yeah, a prolific is an honorable title for an artist. As an artist, totally. It, 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 and and that I think that that's the magic of flow. It's a bit improvisation mixed with with certain know hows, but also a mixture in there of just letting go. Because improvisation, some people like to improvise with the stuff they know. That's one, that's one level of improvisation. I know because I, I was a musician, I was a guitarist. There, you know, the, you do the scales, right? You do certain scales and then, and then you improv within that. But then there's another level of improvisation where you actually start going into waters you don't know. You know, you're, you start going into 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 deeper waters where you don't know and then you still improvise enough so that it doesn't kill you enough so that so that so that you don't com completely go awry from the song but just enough out of your comfort zone and that's what i'm talking about here with the paint like i i didn't know that this dress was going to have this green or you know the figure that's why i don't get i don't get try to get so complicated with the figure or the sky or this or that because I'm changing it, I'm molding it. It's it's almost it's a play. It's a play. I'm molding it until something comes out. Thank you so much. Felicitaciones. Yo yo uso naturaleza de la calle y la plasmo en el lienzo. Muy precioso. Muchas gracias. Thank you guys so much. Let me show you right here my palette. So I have I have soft mixing white right here. I have um, phthalo, blue, viridian. I have uh, pale. This is this is walnut oil. And then I have uh, cad red, dioxazine purple, magenta. I have lamp black. I love using lamp black. It's soft. I love using soft colors. As you guys can see, the reason why I love using soft colors is because I get to do whatever I want with them. So they're not they're not they're not so hard. That's one of the reasons I like I like uh, walnut oil as well. It's not hard, and I don't like alkali because it makes it it makes it stick more, and I don't really like that. It's just another way of doing it. Now there's no wrong or right way of doing this. Everybody does it differently. This is just how I do it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys can. See, I when when I create a painting, I I wanted to suggest. I don't want it to to be exactly. This is what it's going to be. I wanted to suggest because we all pick something up differently. You know, you may be seeing something. I'm not talking about something completely different. You may be seeing something slightly different. You may be seeing you may be seeing a mother and a daughter. You may be seeing a mother and a son. You may be seeing grandmother and and you know and a, and a grandson. Uh, you know, you may you may be seeing or you may be seeing a father, you know, and and a, and a, and a grandson. Uh, you may be seeing a sunrise or a sunset. We 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 pick up different things because of our experiences. You may be seeing a completely different background and completely different genders, right? Because we all we all pick up different things, and that's life. That's the beauty of life. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much. My name is Jose Trujillo. World's greatest living artist. Bam. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, by the way, this painting is going to be on eBay. I'm going to post it today. It's going to, there's my pitch. I can't go without my pitch. Uh, I'm going to auction it at, and the auction is going to start at 99 cents. This is an awesome painting to have. 
Uh, by the way, I wanted to tell you also, I've been very happy because uh, of all the support, my artwork has been going up in value. Uh, I've been exhibiting more, taking the work out to different places. Uh, people that have more serious collections have been... What I mean by serious collections is, is more expensive collections have been uh, uh, contacting me. And I think that that's pretty cool. They've been buying the work. So I'm very, I'm very honored and very thankful, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, go check out this painting. I'm going to start the auction at 99 cents. There's no reserve. So whoever wins it, wins it. And I've opened the, the eBay store. Uh, the link is in my profile. I've opened it. Uh, outside the U.S. as well. So those of you who are watching from, I don't know, uh, England, Canada, Germany, Spain, uh, I'm sure it's in those other countries as well. No, so beautiful. thank you so much. Take care. You want to tell them something, baby? Tom, I love you people of Instagram. I look forward to packaging it and getting it shipped out to you. Yeah, and she does an excellent work at packaging. Yeah, I do. She's awesome. That's my, that's my partner. All right, guys, take care. Goodbye.